guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here and welcome to episode number 14 of my FIFA 14 Newcastle United career mode series. We're going to kick off the episode with a match against my favourite team, Fulham, in the FA Cup at St. James's Park on an overcast Newcastle evening. Uh, it's going to be a tough match, but I am confident that we can get the win to progress into the next round of the FA Cup and we get off to a strong start, uh, proving my claims to be true with Ole John scoring a very, very nice goal in the fourth minute. Uh, we're going to push on and the VA Santon, who has been one of the best players uh, for me this season. I've been thinking lately uh, that I'm going to do an awards ceremony at the end of uh, the season, every season, and uh, I've been considering like a lot of candidates, a lot of awards. Uh, one of you guys, I think it was uh, RS Gaming, Ronan Shaughnessy Gaming, I believe his YouTube channel is. He's been one of my, uh, he's one of my most loyal subscribers. Um, there is a new feature on YouTube where you can see your most loyal subscribers and stuff. So uh, I know who you guys are that are watching, commenting, liking on all my videos, and thank you to all you guys. Uh, but I'm considering doing an award ceremony at the end. Uh, and RS Gaming commented saying some. Uh, potential award categories and I have to agree with uh, those categories and I've thought of a few others in my mind and I'm trying to come up with uh, a few award or a few awards a few award winners a few award recipients uh, to get those awards because I have finished recording all of season one I haven't recorded any of season two uh, but all of season one is recorded so I do know if we're gonna win lose or draw every one of these matches uh, but uh, there's been some great, great players for the team this season. Uh, we're going to go and push on back into the gameplay. Ola John's going to get our third goal for the match in the 88th minute uh, to make it a 3-0 win over Fulham. Uh, a great, great game there from the lads to progress into the next round of the FA Cup. Uh, we're going to move along now, seeing the Cup fixture, uh, the knockout stage. We are in the semi-finals. Uh, we're going to be coming up against Tottenham Hotspur. They did beat Manchester United 2-1, so definitely going to be a uh, hard, hard match. And speaking of Manchester United, we're playing them now in the Premier League on a nice, sunny, clear day uh, in Newcastle at St. James's Park, our second home match for the episode. And we get off to a terrible start as Shinji Kagawa, uh, a man who has been benched a lot this season from David Moyes, uh, surprisingly... Shinji Kagawa is a great player, so I don't know why he's been benched, but, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the real life. Uh, he's going to get an early goal there for Manchester United, unfortunately. Uh, and every point is valuable uh, at this stage of the season. We are in the middle of April, I believe it is. Uh, so we want to be getting a lot of three points, a lot of like mainly wins. Uh, draws are okay, but definitely not many losses. Uh, if we want to be qualifying for the Champions League, uh, which is what the board unrealistically wanted me to do. I don't know why they would want Newcastle, a team that finished like that was trying to fight for to not get relegated last season. I don't understand how the board wants us to make the Champions League. Um, I'm thinking more of a Europa League spot would be more achievable, even though that's a very tough ask. Um, at this stage, the Newcastle board should just be asking them to finish mid-table. Uh, but, you know, we've got, we've got to go what the board wants to do. Uh, so I, I am going to try that. Uh, but the points are going to be very, very valuable. But we're going to push back on into the gameplay. Uh, Kabai's going to cross it into Luke Remy. Luke Remy gets an open header and gives us a one-all scoreline in the 76th minute. A great header goal there from Luke Remy. <clears throat> Raphael is on the ball, excuse me, in the 78th minute. He's going to pass it to Antonio Valencia. Valencia to Van Persie. Van Persie dribbles it past Timmy Krul. Uh, to give Van Persie his 15th league goal for this season and Manchester United the lead, a 2-1 deficit on our hands. Uh, Miyachi is going to try getting a late equaliser here in the 88th minute. He's going to ping off the shot, but a good save there from David De Gea. And unfortunately, we lose two goals to one to Manchester United. Uh, three points have been dropped at home. Definitely not what we wanted. Manchester United are near us on the table, so it would have been nice to skate, uh, grab three points from them, uh, but zero points, definitely not what we need. Squad report time, start of the month. Uh, the squad is progressing nicely. A few good players there uh, coming out with some great potentials. Uh, so hopefully we can develop some players for the future, like Lukaku and stuff. Uh, but the final match of the episode is going to be an away match in the Premier League against Stoke City. Uh, Stoke's a very tough side to play at home. In real life, we'd be playing at the Brit Britannia Stadium, excuse me. Uh, and they are a very tough side at the Britannia Stadium. Uh, but we're going to push back on into the gameplay. Uh, Walters is trying to get away a shot. He gets it away, but not a very good attempt. Uh, pretty off goal. Uh, we're going to push on into the 36th minute. Robert Hoos is going to get two header opportunities. And somehow doesn't get that past Timmy Krul. Uh, I, 
I'm considering ourselves very lucky this match. Uh, so many times. What the hell was Tim Krull doing there? He was, thinks he's Superman or something. Uh, but this match was a very shaky match for us. Uh, I think Stoke could have easily won the match. Uh, I don't really know what we were doing. It was an off game for me. It was an off really episode except for that opening Fulham game. Uh, against Manchester United wasn't in the greatest of forms and Lukaku's unlucky to uh, score a goal there. Uh, but in the Man United game wasn't in the best of forms and in this one it took me until the second half about right now uh, to actually find some form as Luke Remy's going to take a shot and a good save there from Thomas Sorison. Uh, we're going to push on now in the 81st minute. It's going to be Hatton Ben after passing it to Musa Sissoko who's been one of the greatest players for our team this year. So many great players. Uh, but Luke Remy's going to smash it straight past Thomas Sorensen to give us a late lead against Stoke City. A 1-0 advantage in that 83rd minute. Luke Remy picks up his 13th goal for all competitions. And Luke Remy's a player I'm definitely going to look at bringing back on a permanent deal next season. Uh, we do go, go oh, concede there, but luckily it is offside. But uh, Luke Remy's a player who I definitely want to bring into the club next year. He's on loan right now from QPR. And uh, he'd be, he's been in scintillating form. So I really want him to be a permanent squad member next season. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. It has been Jared HD with episode number 14 of my Newcastle United career mode series. If you enjoyed the episode and want another episode tomorrow, please leave a like rating. Uh, likes really keep me motivated, or get me motivated to keep editing. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll speak to you soon. I'm out. Peace.